Welcome back. Today we will explore how to combine the power of Nikto and we will also use Nmap to analyze the target. Before we begin, let's quickly introduce our tools. Now Nikto. Nikto is an open source web server scanner designed to assess the security vulnerabilities of web servers. It is commonly used by security professionals, penetration testers or system administrators to identify potential weaknesses in web applications and servers. Now Nikto works by performing a comprehensive scan of a targeted server. It sends HTTP requests that's under port 80 to the server and analyzes the responses to detect various types of vulnerabilities, misconfigurations or any other non-security issues. Now another tool that we are going to use is Wireshark. So Wireshark is a tool to capture packets and analyze them. I have several videos done with Wireshark and you can of course watch them through ITSEC Hub. If you use Wireshark to capture the Nikto traffic, you actually can analyze them. On the other hand, Nmap is a network scanning tool that helps us to discover hosts on a network and they are open ports or services running on these ports or any other detail related to this. You can watch one of my tutorials done on Nmap for beginners with Wireshark which explain in detail and also in a very simple way. This combination allows us to identify potential vulnerabilities and misconfiguration in web systems. So to begin with Nikto, first we'll ensure we both have the Nikto and Nmap installed in our system. So we can open our terminal and type nikto-help. So if Nikto is installed, you will have the associated options that can be used with Nikto. So you can see that Nikto is installed. If it is not, you can see the GitHub library for Nikto. So this is the GitHub address for Nikto and you can download the Nikto from here and install it. So the other one is the nmap. So you can type nmap then dash help so this indicates that nmap is installed in the same way if nmap is not installed you can visit nmap.org official website so it's nmap.org from there you can download nmap now if you are using kali linux you are so lucky because both nmap and nikto are pre-installed so here I am not going to cover the installation process. We will start the video right away now. Now let's clear the terminal. Let's say now that we have both tools set up. So let's start by using nmap. I have a web server configured in 192.168.8.103. But in reality you have to find out what are the web servers available in a targeted network. So we can use nmap then minus p to specify the ports so we'll say we are we are targeting for port number one to thousand and our target network is 192.168.8.0 with the 24 mask so this will give us the available host with their ports up to thousand now you can see there are five hosts And 192.168.8.1 has open ports of 5380 and 443. Now you can see that uh, 192.168.8.1 has a web server. So you would probably see a web page in this target. There's another client. Its IP address is 192.168.8.103. And it has five ports open. And we are keen on examining the port number 80 and port number 443 because we are using Nikto to find out the vulnerabilities in a web server. The other clients in this result does not have the port 80 or port 443 open. So we can ignore them. Now it's time to analyze the host or the target with the Nikto command. 
So the command is nicto minus h. This is to specify we are looking for host and then the target. So it is 192.168.8.103 and we are going to analyze the ports 80 and 443. So in our target 192.168.8.103 you can see ports 80 and 443 are open. So we will see whether we can identify any vulnerabilities using the nicto command. So we will press enter. Now nicto is given lot of details. Now in our target it says we have installed Apache. So typically it's a web server and it is in Windows 64 and it has the OpenSSL and of course it has PHP. So with these details we can identify what the vulnerabilities for the specific versions. Nicto can be used to identify outdated software or outdated server software, the misconfigurations in servers and insecure server settings, of course default files and script in a server and also the vulnerable software plugins and applications. Now when it comes to outdated software, Nicto compares the version numbers of web servers and web applications and other server components against the database of known vulnerabilities. So it alerts users if the server software is outdated and potentially vulnerable to known exploits. Here it says the OpenSSL is outdated and the PHP is outdated, Apache is outdated. Now you can see the version numbers are given. Using these version numbers, it compares against the vulnerability database and gives the output whether there are loopholes in these software components. Now Nicto also checks for the common misconfiguration in web servers and also their applications. So that can be files and directories that should be protected but are accessible. Now the insecure server settings. This tool examines server settings and headers to identify security weaknesses. For an example, it checks the presence of insecure HTTP methods or outdated TLS or SSL versions, weak cyber suites, missing security headers like content security policy or the unavailability of cross-site script protection. Now if we analyze the results of the NICTO, we can see that the anti-click jacking and the unavailability of cross-site scripting is mentioned. You can protect them using the content security policy having used in your HTML or JavaScript files. So this helps to mitigate the risk associated with the cross-site scripting attacks and also the clickjacking. So I am not going to talk more about this cross-site scripting and the content security policy as it is out of scope but I would be planning to do another video on cross-site scripting and the content security policy. Nictot looks for default files, scripts and directories that are commonly used by attackers to gain unauthorized access. So it detects well-known files such as PHP, PHP MyAdmin, then administrative panels, backup files and more. The other thing is the vulnerable software plugins and the applications. Nicto checks for vulnerabilities in popular web applications, then the content management systems and their associated plugins. And it alerts users if any of these components are present and known to have security vulnerabilities. Here the Nicto has alerted us using the OSVDB vulnerability database for the known vulnerability issues. On the other hand, Nikto is very easy to detect. That means it is not stealthy at all. This can be easily demonstrated through Wireshark. If a hacker wants to use Nikto to identify the security weaknesses in a system, that will be spotted immediately by an intrusion detection system. Now let's clear the terminal. Now we'll open Wireshark. So we will use Wireshark to capture the Nikto traffic and analyze them. 
my objective here is to show you why Nikto is so easily detectable. So our interface to capture the traffic is ETH0. We'll select it and start capturing. And we'll go back to the terminal. We'll run the command again. This time we'll run it only for port 80. Now you can see in the background the packets are being captured. Now the Nikto has completed its task. We'll stop packet capturing in Wireshark. So our capture is ready with Wireshark. Let's analyze them. So in our Nikto command, the target server was 192.168.8.103. So we'll filter for it. We'll type ip.addr equals 192.168.18.103 and then we'll look for the TCP packets. So the source address is 192.168.8.159. This is my address and I am sending the Nikto traffic to 192.168.8.103. This is the target for the web server. So the source address is sending the SYN flag to the destination, the, to the server. And accordingly, the server is responding with the acknowledgement and also with the SYN flag. For this SYN flag, my computer is sending another acknowledgement. So this is the TCP three-way handshake. There's another video on ITSEC Hub explaining the TCP three-way handshake with Wireshark. This also explains the stealth scan as well. So if you watch it, you can get a good idea on TCP three-way handshake. Here I will explain it in short. Now if you look at this, you the client is sending the SYN flag and the server is responding to this SYN flag with the acknowledgement number and also with the another SYN flag expecting the response from the client and client accordingly respond to the server. So this is the TCP three-way handshake. So if the TCP three-way handshake is completed, the server knows the existence or the presence of the client as well as the client knows the presence of the server. So with this, they start the communication. But with stealth scan, the client is sending the SYN flag to the server. The server is acknowledging to the SYN flag that the client has sent and also sending another SYN flag to the client. Now what client does is, client ignores the SYN flag but it gets the acknowledgement. Then client gets to know that the server is present there. The client is not sending an acknowledgement to the server's SYN flag. Instead, the client is sending a reset flag. Then the connection between the client and server will be over. But at this time, client knows that the server is there. So this is how the stealth scan works. Now the client is sending a SYN flag to the server and the server is responding with an acknowledgement and server is also sending the SYN flag. And the client is in return sending its acknowledgement to the server. So the three-way handshake is completed. That means the client is establishing a full connection with the server. The server knows the client is there. So we'll move to the very next record. So the client is sending a HTTP packet to the server. If you click on this record, you can see the HTTP details in the second pane. We will expand this and it details that the user agent is Mozilla and of course the client is sending Nikto packets, so the Nikto version is 2.1.0. At this point, the server gets to know the client is scanning him. So the client is scanning for vulnerabilities in the server. So any IDS or intrusion detection system will identify the presence of Nikto since it is using the TCP three-way handshake. So Nikto is only used by the penetration testers or the ethical hackers to identify the vulnerabilities in web servers. So the hackers do not use as this cannot be used for the stealth scan. If you use Nikto, 
you will be detected with the IDAs. Now there are some situations that we want to write the output into a file. So in that case, we can we can change the command with minus O. It says you are writing an output into a file. So you can specify the file name. We will say nicto result.txt. So we will press enter. So we will ls for the file. So you can see the nicto result.txt is available. We can catch and see the content. So the file is open and this is the content of that file. Since Nikto is a tool designed to assist in security assessment, this should not be used for hacking as it is detectable. Now of course web developers can use this tool to identify their misconfiguration or vulnerabilities or insecure server settings and to improve the security of the web server. But anyway, it should be used responsibly with proper authorization. Unwanted or unauthorized scanning of systems can be considered as a violation of computer security laws. It is always recommended to obtain permission from the system owner before performing any security scans. So with this tutorial, you learn how to combine Nikto, the web server scanner with Nmap and also we saw why Nikto is detectable by analyzing the packets captured by Wireshark. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more exciting tutorials on cybersecurity and IT related topics. See you next time through IT Hub. If you have not subscribed to IT Hub, please subscribe and give it a like.